Hello, my name is Elizabeth. I would like to show you how you can use the mind map, which is the brainstorming facility that comes with in vivo to allow you to visually construct your thematic coding framework. Now, this is not for the grounded theorists. This is for those of us who are using phenomenological, you know, kind of underpin methodology, which means you do have the topics that you want to explore, the phenomena, they are there. So um, I want to show you how you will translate it into a coding system and then code into them. So first of all, I'm using the new in vivo. And the first thing that you need to do is to set up a folder separate from the open codes area. So what I did is I went into the codes and then right mouse click and created a new folder. And that is the folder which I have created. So this is the thematic coding framework which I have created and it's empty. But you need to first of all go into the explore menu and then come down to the maps. So once you click on the maps, you want to go for mind map, which is a brainstormer. So here I just want to say initial themes. Anything that holds it is fine. So with this initial themes, I am now free to creatively uh, draft my coding system. So I can put anything below in the middle of it, or I can just call it themes. It really doesn't matter. Now, because I'm working with the map, you also notice that I do have these tools like sibling and child and floating ideas and all of that to help me. Or I can simply right mouse click the center and then bring in a child idea. So the very first thing I want to focus on is economy. And then I can probably go back here and create another child idea and that I can call it development. And create another child idea and I will call it infrastructure. Okay. Now I will take my attention to the three main themes and develop them further, each further. So the economy, I will right mouse click and get a child idea. And let's say this is tourism. And of course, whilst I'm on a child level, I can bring siblings on board. So another one could be um, um, the economy from agriculture and I can create another sibling for it whilst I'm here and um, I can call it um, industry in fact you just translate your own uh, um, key or, or the sub themes and the need is financial services and all sorts. This is just enough. I will turn my attention to the infrastructure and do exactly the same. I will begin with the child. So you go for child idea and then the first child idea which I have for my infrastructure is maybe the roads and of course I can then stay here and go for many 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 siblings for this so one of them could be waste management uh, I would add a bit more to it so another child another sibling at this level you're going for siblings to be on the same we're talking about um, maybe water supply I can go on and create more siblings. So I can call this one 
um, telecoms because we need some telecommunications. Mm -hmm. And of course, I can go on and add more like parks and, you know, all sorts. So sibling again, I can call it parks. I just need to put the parks in. You know, it's good. Okay, so I've turned my attention to the development. And here I can bring in a child and many, many, many siblings to that child. So if I slide my thing here, I can start putting in uh, the development could be education, mm -hmm. looking at the human, you know, kind of um, education. Okay, I will then put some siblings there and employment. Uh -huh. And then put more in um, health. And construction or industry in terms of um, the productivity. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I'm just going to come to an end. So employment or I think I put employment in already. Yes, I have. So I can probably look at income. Mm -hmm. So that should be enough for me. So basically, I'm just going to use one of these um, views. This is the automatic one which I've got, and I can organize them in all sorts of different ways. Um, that way, this way, it doesn't really matter. I just want to show you that you could uh, organize them in a way that you want. It makes sense to you. So you can see I've got three main things, economy, infrastructure, and that. Now, the idea is that if these are the three foundational themes that I want to work with, then I can convert it readily into a coding framework and then start looking at the text and coding into them. And of course, this would be just a getting started guide as it were. It's not set in stone that this is going to be the final, but this is the three things I want to get started with. So to convert it into a coding system, all I need is to right mouse click anywhere here and then go for create as codes all cases and in the codes area i will click on the plus sign there i will pick up on my um the thematic coding framework folder which i've created and then go for okay so you can see on this side i can actually close this it's all saved you can see here that by putting the case anywhere in this empty area and then clicking on a and or collapse or the, the codes, you see immediately that the structure which I put together is ready and I can start coding into it by opening a document and start reading and coding into them. So this is a very interesting way of helping you graphically to organize your themes in a way that you've already written in your proposal so it's much, much easier for you to do this way, convert it, and then you can code. I hope this is useful, though. you know, it's useful, certainly. It's been very useful for me. So thank you for watching. And if you have any question, please let me know, and then I can do a quick video also for you.